And welcome back to the Murdy Creative Co. Podcast. I'm your host, Colin Murdy, and today's topic is rewards program. But first, I want to say thank you to everyone who's supported the company so far. If you haven't got a chance, go check us out on the web at murdycreative.co. That's M-U-R-D-Y creative.co. Or you can check us out on Facebook and Instagram by searching at murdycreative.co to see our best of our product shots. Follow us, keep up to date with our daily photos, and be the first one to know about new product launches. You can also use the subscribe button at the bottom of our website to be included in all of our new announcements. Be sure to check out our laser engraving personalization options and exclusive colors on the website, or you can get a blank one on Amazon Prime. All right, so one of the things that I'm working on doing as we make this transition into kind of this new internally focused, how do we make everything on the inside work better? How do we you know, work on developing our, the tools to, to make the machine run smoother? One of the things that is involved is uh, me passing off more and more of kind of the day-to-day operations to uh, my production manager, Meryl, who does a phenomenal job and is excellent at her at her activities. So I'm, I'm really glad to have her on the team. Um, but what it's allowed me to do is it's allowed me to kind of step back and say from a strategic perspective, what, what are things we need to be doing as a company that can be uh, beneficial? And many of you know about that we have a brand ambassador program um, and we've had to be completely honest, dismal success with that. And I was, I haven't figured out exactly why we're still working on it. Um, but we're trying to move that, that program in a different direction. So the ambassador program is in a bit of a different direction, but, but one aspect of that particular program that I felt was potentially part of the problem, why it wasn't being very successful was that it didn't, it, it was, it was too complicated and it didn't really appeal in a really meaningful way to those who are previous customers, right? So it didn't develop, uh, uh, an influential relationship that was based off of you being a customer. And we're still working on dealing with all of the problems on that. But what it really brought to my attention was that we need to develop some sort of rewards program that made it very simple for people to share the company and make money doing that. And also it was, was very good at developing a way to reward people who have been loyal customers and who'd come back over time and time again. So one of the things that we had developed was that we just launched, I think it was like, not even a week ago, maybe it was a week ago, um, was this program called our, our Rewards Program. Now, it's something that was brand new to our platform. We use Wix as our primary website provider. We've been very happy with them, and we use, obviously, their, their high-end enterprise solution. And so we have a dedicated rep who does their best to, and he's, he's very good at his job, keep us informed when there are new betas, um, new things that are coming down the platform. And he's done very good at getting us involved in kind of the new innovations they're working on in their, their system. So... Um, we we heard about this option that they're this new integration, and I thought, you know what, we'll give it a try, right? Compared to what we pay for brand ambassador, it's a fraction of the cost. It's I mean I think it's like like less than ten percent, significantly less than ten percent of what we pay brand ambassador to do the work we do with them. Um, so for us, we wanted to see how this would work. Now the the rewards program itself is a relatively lightweight program, and currently it's we we haven't we we haven't done a ton with it right but there's i think it's a good place to grow so if you're on your smartphone or you go on our website uh it looks a little bit different so if you you're on your device your smartphone and you open it up there's a little little circle in the bottom left corner the circle in the bottom right corner is something different but the circle in the bottom left corner has a pop-up window and you can open it up and take a look at that and on our website it's actually a little small little button in the bottom right hand side that says rewards when you click on that, it obviously wants you to say become a member, right? It wants you to become a member in our website. Now, the reason why is because that's how it tracks your points. It's how it keeps tracks of who you are and all that other stuff. So all you have to do is go to the top and log in on our website and create a profile, which is free and doesn't doesn't take that much time to do. And then once you become a member, you can you can earn loyalty points and rewards. Uh, at the moment, the way it works is for every dollar you spend, you get uh, you get five points for every dollar you spend in any purchase at all and then you can uh 100 points you can cash in 100 points for a dollar in in-store credit now essentially that's about a five percent rewards program so it's a good place i think for us to start we want to encourage people to keep coming back and the points i think do expire i'm not exactly sure when i think it's six months um but the points do expire so there is a little bit of an incentive to kind of obviously use them sooner rather than later uh, one of the other things that we have built into this program though is a referral thing now this referral program very much like our brand ambassador referral program has you know you refer people using a tracking link or using a code and then they get something and and you get something right that's that that's the idea 
This, however, is a much, much more lightweight version of it, right? So rather than all of the complexity and, and somewhat headache of the Brand Ambassador program that we're part of, um, this one is very simple. You know, you, you, you have a referral link that you send people, and uh, when they use that referral link and they sign in, because they have to sign in to do it, when they, when they use that referral link, they can get $5 of in-store credit that they can use, and you get $5 upon their completion of their purchase, right? So if they use it, then you get $5 as well. So this is the way the system is built right now. And we're obviously going to probably leave these kind of core tenants in place uh, as we move forward. One of the things we're working on developing, though, particularly is a new type of of a new type of uh, member program that goes a little bit beyond that, something that's a little more subscription based. Now, that'll obviously be on top of this. We'll always have a free version of it. That'll be that'll be very good. But we are working on using this as the platform to build onto. Um, for the future, including some some really exciting things. And depending on, obviously, whether we can salvage um, what we're doing with Brand Ambassador, I think we may end up depreciating that entire aspect, that particular program, the, the Brand Ambassador program, when the contract comes up early next year. And we may go strictly to this, or we may go to something similar to this, um, depending on how things go. I think what the question that comes up a lot, I think, when we talk about reward programs and things like this is, is, uh, you know, what does that tell the customer? What does that tell our people? How can we do this? And I, I think, um, you know, I, I've hesitated in the past about doing rewards or discounts or things like that, partially because I think it degrades the brand and it does, don't get me wrong. However, I've realized as we've kind of gone along that there are people who regularly purchase from us who have come back time and time again and have bought either the same thing for presents or they bought new things or they bought additional things. And people like that are really the kind of people that make our company go really well. Like those are the people that really provide most of the, the, the kind of the baseline support. And so for those kinds of people, particularly, it's like we want to take care of them, right? We, we want to make it so that they have a little bit extra, right? They get a little bit more than the average person because being able to do that allows, you know, encourages them and makes them feel welcome and, and welcome back. And so that's where those kinds of people that we want to we want to kind of cultivate. That's where that that loyalty program is really designed around. One of the things that was brought up, I think, early in kind of the question and the things was is that. How do we how do we make it so that people feel comfortable uh, using their loyalty points and everything like that? And they understand the clarity of how to earn the points versus making the points really powerful. And what I mean, let me give you an example of that. We can do all sorts of cool things where you earn bonus points or you do this kinds of things and we can really gamify the process of the points. But the problem is, is if that gets so confusing that people don't want to, they don't really participate. They think that it's all oh, this is too complicated. Then we're back right to where we were with the brand ambassador pro- problem that we were dealing with is where it's the complexity is turning people off. So I actually am kind of working on saying, OK, if we're going to start a loyalty program, I want it to be as easy as possible to understand. I want it to be very clear. I want it to be very simple. And I want it to be the kind of thing where if you don't want to be like a crazy ambassador, right? You don't want to be the kind of person that's like knocking on doors and calling friends and saying, hey, you should buy this and use my code so you can, I can get a commission, right? If you don't want to be that kind of person, I think this is the right choice, right? This is something very easy, right? It doesn't really require you to sign up for anything other than obviously creating a profile on our website, uh, but it it doesn't really require you to do much beyond logging in. And then once you log in, it's simply a tap and share and, you know, it's, and there's no pressure, right? Like, it's not like, oh, you need to do this, right? You can say, hey, check out this code, try this code. Um, you know, you can get $5 off and I can get $5 for your purchase. So it's something that we're really interested in in testing out, seeing if it works. You never know in, in any of these things, how successful they'll be before you start. No amount of market research, no amount of good intentions, no amount of analysis will ever actually predict how things actually function in the market. And that's an unfortunate reality that most people kind of still to this day ignore in big business. But the best tr- truth that I can share with all of you small business owners who are looking on figuring out what to do next and how to do it is try it. If it doesn't work, you can stop doing it. You can't be afraid to try new things, try different things. Uh, and particularly when things aren't working, that's that's the time to try something new with them, right? We are going in a very, very different with our brand ambassador program, different direction, I should say, with our brand ambassador program today actually today's the first day of kind of the new era and we've got a whole bunch of stuff going on back on the back end of that and we've been sending out videos to the ambassadors and things like that describing what's going on with that but 
I mean, it, and it's it's a it's a risky shift. Like what we're planning on doing is very very risky as far as it's not um, it's not the way the platform probably is really used to being used. Uh, and and I think that's going to be obviously difficult for some of the people that are more, I, I would say, d- professionally ambassadors. However, the program itself, the brand ambassador program in its previous form, wasn't earning us any money. It wasn't driving sales at all, basically. So there's not really that much risk in that, right? It's like if you're paying for something and it's not working at all, well, then there's no risk to change it. And in fact, you should change it because doing the same thing over and over with expecting different results is just insanity. So check out that. And so for those of you, I think this is like the call to action. For those of you who are interested, go check out the new rewards program on our website. And for those of you who want to become members, we are going to be doing more member based things, right? We're going to be doing more things with the referral program. We're going to be expanding that program significantly. We've got some really neat um, add ons that we were hoping to build into this as we can develop the technological background for them. So stay tuned. Uh, go check that out on the website. Sign in, log in, go make a purchase, go share the referral codes. They're very easy to use, very easy. And if you have any problems with them at all, let me know because this is a new program for us. So if something goes wrong, obviously we want to we want to know about it. We want to, you know, test it and fix it. And everything we've done to test it says that it's working fully, but obviously we're not perfect. So uh, feel free to let us know if there are any difficulties, and we will do our best to help. I also want to hear your guys' thoughts. So if if you guys have ideas or thoughts on the referral program, leave them down in the comments below. I really do want um, to get some feedback on this. You guys, as particularly as a podcast listeners or as our YouTube watchers, have you guys are by definition in many ways uh, a little more a little more in tune with the company than uh, you know our average the average customer who just comes to the website and and buys something. So you guys, I think, may have. Um, more insight and might be very, very beneficial in, in this discussion. So feel free to leave the comments in below what, you know, what your thoughts on the referral program is, the rewards program, and uh, I'd be happy to, to engage with you. All right, folks, thanks for tuning in today. Be sure to check back in next Tuesday for our next topic. And don't forget to check that subscribe button below to be sure to get the latest podcast right away. Also, make sure to turn on the alerts because while I am hoping to be back into our Tuesday, Thursday schedule, Life is always a little bit a uh, little bit tricky to predict. So if you make sure to subscribe to the alerts, um, you'll be obviously notified when we do post new podcasts in case we get off our schedule again. If you have any questions or concerns about your leather binder, journal, folio, mask, accessory, any of those things that we sell, feel free to leave a contact form on us on the main page of our website at murdycreative.co. You can also contact us via Instagram and Facebook. Uh, you can text, email, call, direct message, all the usuals, and we'll do our best to get back to you as soon as possible, but we do appreciate your patience. If you think we deserve it, a good review on the podcast and on the product can go a long way to help us grow our new community. If you want to leave a review on the podcast, just do so on whatever podcast app you're listening on. I do read them. I do love them. And uh, I really want to be able to do this as the best podcast I can. So, you know, that those reviews help me kind of get that feedback and kind of tweak it if there are things to be tweaked. If you want to leave a review on the on the, the product itself, go to our page, Facebook page on murdycreative.co. So you go to facebook.com slash murdycreative.co or you type it into the search bar. On the left-hand side of the page, there's going to be a reviews button. Click reviews and then it says, do you recommend the Murdy Creative Company? You click yes and then you write your review or you can go read all of the wonderful five-star reviews we have. They really are very encouraging. I do read them myself, every single one of them. I do read them to the team. You guys, the people who leave reviews, you guys are like our heroes. We we love that hearing that. It's, it's pretty pretty easy from time to time to just put your head down and work and and those reviews just kind of give us life so feel free to feel free to send those along word of mouth is still the best form of advertising please tell your friends tell them about the podcast tell them about the the product tell them about the company join our referral program and send in their referral code and they can get five dollars off so you know do all of those things because by the way if you send them that referral code and they get five dollars off and then you get five dollars too and you know obviously that can stack so be sure to share it with all your friends If you have any podcast topics you want to hear more about, send them my way. I'm always happy to engage with our growing community, and I want to give you guys what you want, genuinely. I, I, You know, obviously, I get to say, oh, I would love to talk about this, but there's things I'm sure you guys are curious about, and I want to tell you more about them. So uh, feel free to share those to me. If you are looking for multiple binders, journals, folios, masks, accessories for gifts, giveaways, menus, really any reason, ask about our bulk discounts available. They can get really pretty good, and they only start at five for the minimum quantity. So you know, if you're ordering five or more items, you can qualify for a bulk discount. You have to just send us an email at sales at murdycreative.co or contact us via our contact form, and we'd be happy to tell you more about that program. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Have a great day and goodbye.